Hello, I'm Simon Rose, Head of Experience Development at WWT. And what better day to be on site on a February morning with the sun lighting up these willows with their golden stems. You can't get a much more iconic tree than a willow pollard. These are cut every two or three years and you get the fantastic winter colour from the young stems. But also you get a marvellous wetland product for basket work and we use the older stems for making hurdle fences. Peter Scott actually used willow stakes around his centres as fence posts and they've then taken root in the wet ground and produced these willow pollards we have here. We've got all sorts of willow species on our sites and uh, another one is the, the goat willow and the grey willow which are the ones which have these fabulous soft pussy willow it's usually called isn't it and you can see why when you when you touch these soft buds it's been incredibly mild this winter as it had for for several winters so these buds are coming out quite early and in fact we've got the the leaves coming out they follow as in many trees the flowers which come out first on the bare twigs and then the leaves will come out and willow is probably one of our earliest trees into leaf. So even in February, March, you can start to see a green sheen on the tree. On the alder, there's lots of little details you can see at this time of year. The, the buds are almost purple when they first come out and that gives the copse a sheen in the sort of winter, which is black and white with a little touch of purple. More obvious are the catkins. These are like little lamb's tails and uh, look delightful on a coppice tree where they're all hanging like a waterfall. You've got the little red flowers. It's a, like a, a carmine colour and that's going to be the female cone when it comes out. Alder's not a conifer but it actually has a cone and these are last year's seed cones which will have let their waxy seeds go in the autumn which float on water and this tree is so perfectly adapted to the wetland habitat. The seeds fall on the stream and get washed down and lodge in the bank further down and become the next generation. 